When Barolo lovers come to Castiglione Falletto and taste our wines, they often identify Villero as one of its best crews. Let's try to find out why. Villero is in the upper part of Castiglione Falletto, just after the old village. If you drive towards Monforte, look to your right side. You will have a Bricco Rocche on the hilltop, and then Villero, and then Rocche Moriondino, which, by the way, we have already described in a video. And if you're interested, click here in the box. It is a medium-sized uh, vineyard of about 22 hectares, so 55 acres, uh, divided among 10 producers. It's a beautiful southwest exposure at an altitude between 250 and 350 meters above sea level. The soil is the classic fossil Tortonian called the Santagata Marl, which has a lot of active limestone and um, a good percentage of sand also, which means that the wine will probably combine structure and finesse. And let's see if this is true. I've never had a chance to vinify a Barolo Villero, so I've chosen a, a one from a colleague uh, whom I very much respect. And it happens to be vintage 2011, so exactly 10 years old. I think this is a good time for a special Barolo. I uncorked and let it breathe for about one hour. What shows in the glass is a beautiful, bright, dark garnet color. We wouldn't know it's 10 years old if it weren't for the hue around, which is uh, slightly pale, almost yellowish. A still very beautiful color. I'm positively surprised. I was expecting a much closer Barolo, and instead this is very expressive. In particular, there's right away very distinct uh, nose of medicinal herbs and aromatic herbs. And then followed by more licorice, uh, a touch of fine oak, and then again, spicy elements come up and it's more like incense and cinnamon. Um, so it, it, it's, it's a little austere, very classic, very composed, really uh, nice, delicate, but persistent uh, uh, bouquet of classic Barolo. The taste as well is grandiose. Uh, there are no signs of aging. It's perfectly well capped. Um, ample structure, it has firm tannins, just a little dry, but, but not too dry. You know, it's not austere, it's serious. These are really um, very firm tannins uh, with a silky uh, backstage that grows very slowly, but it's really long in the aftertaste. There's a classic composure in this Barolo, which I very much like and I very much appreciate. Um, it's warm, alcoholic, it's, it's, it's savory, uh, it's really juicy. It hasn't, it hasn't lost any of the quality of a younger Barolo, but in this case, we must remember that 2011 was a fantastic vintage, a very, very, very good keeper. So it was definitely worth keeping it 10 years or more. I previously made a video about vintage 2011. If you're interested, click in the info box here. To make a conclusion, I'm very happy to, to say that my premise is confirmed. Barolo Villero can really combine big structure with a very particular finesse and elegance. And bringing those two things together means making a great Barolo.